Hey guys, I'm going to read my first book of hockey. Hockey is a fast moving game played between two teams. Each team has six players. The object of the game is to score more goals than the other team. Scores are scored by shooting the puck with a stick into the other team's net. The goalie stands in front of the net. He wears extra pads and catching glove to help stop the puck. Plus, he gets to wear a scary mask. In addition to the goalie, each team has three forwards, the left wing, center, and right wing, who try to score goals. The main job of the two defensemen is to keep the other team from scoring. Hockey is played on an ice rink that's surrounded by walls called boards. The ice is divided by five lines. The goal line, the blue line, the center red line, the blue line, and the goal line. The game is played in three periods that are 20 minutes each. Okay, the players are on the ice and the fans are fired up. It's time for the... Face off! The referee drops the puck between the two centers and they each try to control it with their sticks. Swoosh! The center flicks the puck over his teammates who, uh, who makes a pass up the ice. Look out! The player with the puck is checked by an opponent who tries to knock him from the puck. A player is on the ice for a short period of time, called a shift. When he gets tired, he'll skate to the bench and a teammate will replace him. This can happen on the fly, which means right in the middle of a play. He's going to try to score. He winds up his stick and takes a slap shot. He smacks the puck super hard toward the other team's goal. Will he score? Nope. The goalie stopped the puck from going into the net. That's a save. The first period ends. Boy, is the ice surface scratched up. The players leave the rink and comes on the Zamboni to smooth over the ice. The second period begins with another face-off. Slap, scrape, whoosh! The center flies down the ice past the defense for a breakaway. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. He shoots! It's a goal! After the face-off, the referee blows his whistle. Uh-oh, a player hit an opponent above the shoulders with a stick. That's high sticking, and it's a penalty. Now he has to go sit in the penalty box for two minutes. While the player is in the penalty box, the other team has an advantage called the power play. Now they have five skaters on the ice, while the other team only has four. There are some other no-nos. Interference, when a player gets in the way of another player who doesn't have the puck. Holding, when a player grabs another player and doesn't let go. Slashing, when a player swings his stick at another player and hits him in the arm. Hooking, when a player tries to stop an opponent by snagging him with the curved part of his stick. The power play is over and the teams are back five on five. The defenseman is under pressure. He just wants to get the puck away from his goal. He sends it all the way down to the ice. If it goes from his side of the center line to the other team's goal line, that's icing. The play is stopped and the puck is brought back down the center 
eyes for a face off. Ring! The horn signals the end of the second period. Time to clean the ice. Another face-off and the game continues. Oops, a player has skated over the blue line towards the other team's goal before the puck crosses the line. He can't do that. The whistle blows and he is called for offside. The goalie makes a save, but the puck bounces off his glove. A forward pounces on the rebound and sends it into the net. Goal! It's the player's third goal of the game. That's called a hat trick. And the fans throw their hats onto the ice and celebrate. The goal has tied the game. If no one scores again before the clock runs out, the game will go to... Overtime! Five more minutes and are put on the clock. Instead of five skaters, each team uses three. The first team to score wins. That was a dramatic goal. Game over. It's time to celebrate. 